Hey, what's going? Today I'll show you how to get the newest Streamio version to your Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And without any further ado, the first step you gotta take is getting the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. So if you already have a downloader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have downloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then of course, just follow me. So we have to go to search on a fire stick, open the search bar and start typing downloader in here. And as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. You click on it and here is that orange application, which you gotta get. But after you got downloader, it still is not ready to use yet because we have to set it up. So to set up the loader now, we'll go to settings by clicking this gear icon, scroll down and open my Fire TV. So let's open it. And now in here, what I have to do is turn on the developer options. But on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to about, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if we go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then head to install unknown apps. And from here, all we have to do is just locate the loader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So we go back to the list of apps near device. Here it is, let's open it together. And there is the downloader, which we just got. However, before actually using downloader, there is one more thing, which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a couple of bucks per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All you have to do in a VPN app is connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Sweden right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic will be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on your online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, or in a description of this video, you will get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we go back to a list of apps near device. Let's open it and head to the Downloader now. So we open the Downloader as well. And now it's time to enter a link in the search bar. So open the search and the link is gonna be streamia.com. So let's enter that together. Once again, streamia.com. 
just like that, and third link, make sure that no mistakes are made. Then head and click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you would get even more content about fire sticks. And then you click on download now. The downloads page will open. Scroll down for the Android versions of the app. And now for the fire stick, you have to download this one. 1.7.4 ARM APK. So click and the download of the app has started. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then just click install and wait a bit until the app gets fully installed to your device. And then don't click open yet, instead press done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, which you don't need anymore on a Fire Stick device. So just click on delete and then delete once again. This way you will be able to save yourself some free space on your Fire Stick. And it's really important because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much free space available anyway. And then we go back to a list of apps on your device, open it, Scroll down and here is the streaming, which we just got. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then click on move to front. This way the app will always be at the very top of your application list. And therefore, it will be way easier for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use a link below this video to get three months of NordVPN totally for free. So enjoy it all and see you next time. Bye bye.